Her list of accolades is simply incredible. Hall of Famer, Olympic gold medal coach, coach of the year. The list does go on. It really does. Uh, but now Tara Vanderveer, the woman whose name has long been synonymous with the Stanford women's basketball program, is retiring. ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Dustin Dorsey joins us live from Stanford with a look back at her trailblazing career. Dustin. You know, Dana Dion, when Tara Vanderveer was walking off the court right here behind the camera at Maples Pavilion, the home of the Stanford Cardinal, she was thinking if this might be my last time, boy, was it a heck of a ride, and it certainly was. We know it was the last time as she is officially retiring. 45 years total, three national championships, and 1,216 wins. The term greatest of all time gets thrown around a lot in sports, but Stanford's Tara Vanderveer has earned that title. And now the GOAT is calling it a career. My 38 years as the head coach of Stanford University women's basketball team have been nothing short of magical. A journey that started when Vanderveer took over the Stanford program in 1985. Vanderveer remembers the conversation she had with her father when she took the job. He proceeded to tell me that it was an impossible to win at Stanford and the job was a graveyard job. My father was right about one thing. The Stanford job involved digging, but instead of a graveyard job, it has been a gold mine job. One featuring many Final Four appearances, national championships, and the most wins of any college basketball coach ever. But Vanderveer said what's even more important than the victories were the people. That feeling is mutual with her players and fellow coaches. She's meant a lot to me over the years. She's been a uh, first a coach and then a mentor and a friend and um, colleague and um, everything that you could want in a, in a coaching relationship. As people say she's the GOAT, she's one of the greatest of all time and I think you know now that she's stepping back she'll really receive the flowers that she deserves um, but just me personally I'm super grateful to have been coached by her. Vanderveer has made a lasting impact in basketball as a whole. There were no girls teams when she was growing up. Now the game is more popular than ever. The game is more than one or two teams or one or two uh, one or two players, and it's really it's really exciting to see kind of where we are. Um, so I feel like I'm leaving it in a good place. She says coaching is rewarding, but it's hard work, and it was time for her to retire. The head coaching desk at Stanford will be filled by new faces down the road, and Tara Vanderveer hopes the legacy that she leaves behind makes a difference. There's a young girl out there who will watch or read about Stanford women's basketball. And her dad will say to her, basketball will take you everywhere. Absolutely. And right behind me is the Stanford Hall of Champions, a place that Tara Vanderveer has absolutely cemented herself here on campus. For now, live in Stanford, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News. And I think we have to look ahead to the future on this sure, yeah. because this head coach position has been, I guess, occupied for nearly four decades. Dustin, do you have any idea when the head coach, uh, who will be named the new one? Matter of fact, she was in the audience today, sitting right in front of me at that press conference for Tara. It is going to be longtime assistant Kate Pay. They really, Stanford really wants to keep that continuity, obviously, something 38 years running. They want to keep that same style. Pay obviously uh, has that with the last 17 years spending time as an assistant coach under Vanderveer, and she even played for her in the 90s. So keeping that full uh, concept and that continuity going while also bringing her own style and, and uh, succeeding hopefully in the future for them. Yeah, what a meaningful handoff that is too. Dustin, thank you. What a career.